Hi you guys, I'm back with another video. This video, uh, video is going to be a product review about Lisa Rachel um, or Lisa Rachel Sulfate Free Cleansing Conditioner Aloe and Olive Oil for Dry Hair. Um, it says if you like when you love Lisa Rachel. I purchased this product at Ross for $4.99. Okay, when I first got this product, um, I was really skeptical because I was thinking, even though I wanted it and wanted to try it, and I've been seeing those win infomercials and been hearing about all the uh, people on YouTube talking about um, Hair One, I wanted to try something like that. Um, when I saw it at Ross, I immediately picked it up because I've been wanting to try a product like this. Um, so yeah, like I said, I was really skeptical on how a conditioner was going to clean my scalp. My first thought was that this product is going to be a lot like um, co-washing my hair. Even though co-washing is cleaning, well, a type of cleaning the hair, it's not really cleaning my scalp, you know, cleaning it like real, like a shampoo would. So I was thinking that it was going to be like that and it was going to leave my hair heavy and still oily kind of. So um, I was like, well, it's only $5, so let me go ahead and give it a shot. So the directions are on the bottle, step one, step two, step three. Really easy to follow. Um, the best way to um, to tell you all how to wash your hair when using a conditioner like this is to uh, conditioner cleansing product like this is to wash your hair in sections. When I first did it, um, I just globbed the conditioner on all of my hair. And I've used it twice since then. So you probably want to put your hair in four parts, two in the front and two in the back. That seems to be the easiest way to do it. Um, and just rub it in in small sections. When I first applied this, I was really um, scrubbing it in my scalp because I did want it to work. So I was really scrubbing it in there. And they say the more you use the better that the product is going to be. So I used a lot of this in my hair and I was just scrubbing it like really, really hard, extremely hard on my scalp. I did put it on my hair, but when I did on my hair, I was gentle because I do not want tangles and all that in my hair and I don't want to have to detangle all that. So I did this lightly throughout my hair um I let it sit on there for about it says let it sit on for about um three to five minutes I let it sit on my hair for about five minutes when I was putting it through my hair I really couldn't tell a difference as opposed to a regular conditioner so I really didn't feel an immediate difference so while I you know showered and you know the rest <laughs> of the story so I got ready to rinse it out of my hair and when I was rinsing it out of my hair I immediately felt a difference. Um, my hair it went from like all this product in my hair to my hair feeling like really slick and squeaky clean feeling. It was no residue or build up while I was rinsing it out of my hair. So I was really surprised. And when I got out the shower, you know, I towel dried my hair. My hair was so soft. And for me, that's a great, a, a, like a really good plus. So my hair was really soft. And another way for me to see if a product or a shampoo really clean my hair is I will really, um, it'll have like a little bounce to it and little spring and softness to it. So it did, and I was really, really happy. I was really happy that that worked, and it didn't leave my hair dry or anything like that. 
and after that um I did a regular deep conditioner and I rinsed it out of my head and I really love this product. I will be purchasing this product again. All my videos are honest and I'm going to let you all know if the product works for me or doesn't or why I don't like it and I'll list the reasons why I don't like it. I must say that after I use this I probably won't be buying purchasing my um, regular shampoo which is the Shea Moisture. Um, moisture retention shampoo i probably won't be buying that anymore for the simple fact that this works so well on my hair and i've learned that um that foaming agents any foaming agents in shampoos they're bad for your hair and they do strip your hair so even though it may say that it's 100 percent organic that foaming agent in there will strip your hair so after I learned that as well, I I just wanted to do something different because I'm trying to go totally healthy for my hair, for my hair journey. And that was my review on this product. Um, like I said, I recommend you getting this product if you have like five bucks. Um, I guess go to Ross and see if they have it at your local Ross store. This product was very good really love it not dry also it says that you can leave this product um, in as a leave-in also but you guys I have so many leave-ins that I really don't need another you know to use this one as a leave-in not saying that it's a bad leave-in I probably just use this strictly for washing my hair so that was my take on this product and um, I hope this video was helpful Thank you to all my new and my old subscribers. Um, you guys are the best. Uh, thank you all. And don't forget, um, check out my Facebook page and uh, please like me on there. It's a new page that I created. It's, it'll keep you guys updated on some of the new products and things I'll be trying for my hair. So thank you all for watching and God bless. Bye.